Ladies and gentlemen, Céline Dion. When I was 14 years old, I went to see a rock opera in Montreal called Starmania. And like millions before and after me, I fell in love. The man who wrote that show wrote a song for me, and the song became a hit for both of us. And we've been good friends ever since. That man is tonight's Hall of Fame inductee, Luc Plamondon. In the French music world, he's a cultural icon. Luc writes for the moment, and he writes for all time. His beautiful songs portray the dreams and the passions of ordinary men and women. Like he has done for so many others, Luc helped make my dream a reality. He's one of the reasons I'm on this stage tonight. Je tiens à souligner que c'est un grand honneur pour nous ce soir que les Junos permettent à Luc Plamondon d'accéder à leur temple de la renommée. Pour nous, Luc est un auteur exceptionnel, mais pour moi, c'est avant tout un ami très cher et un grand artiste. So before he takes his rightful place in the Canadian Music Hall of Fame, let's take a look at the incredible life of my incredible friend, Luc Plamondon. First, there is the word. His imagery is deceptively simple, drawn from the street and from the heart. His poetry puts words in the mouths of a hundred divas and has given a voice to three generations of French-speaking fans. He is the artist behind the artist. Luc Plamondon was born and raised on the family farm 40 miles from Quebec City. His father, a horse breeder and the village blacksmith, could neither read nor write. At 12, Luc was sent to the seminary to fulfill the family dream of becoming a priest. But Luc had different dreams. I've been wanting to write musicals since the, the very first time I went to theater, actually. Uh, at that time, I must have been about 16, I started writing songs and I also started writing plays. My first song was recorded in 1970 by a 20-year-old uh, unknown singer, and it was uh, number one that summer. I never had to do anything else but what I had been dreaming of, uh, of doing since I was uh, a teenager. Combining the romance of French culture and the raw energy of American counterculture, Luc emerges as Quebec's first rock lyricist. Soon he is in demand by the best singers at home and in France. In 1979, Plamondon teamed up with composer Michel Berger to write Star Mania. Set in the year 2000, Starmania is the prophetic story of a society obsessed with image and controlled by the media. Everything I wrote seems to, to describe today's reality. So uh, young people who were not even born when I wrote it recognize uh, themselves and their lives in that rock musical. In the last 20 years, Starmania has electrified three million theater goers around the world. Plamondon's songs have become classics, both on the stage and on the charts. I don't know why a song touches people more than another one, because the songs you write in musicals are not like the songs you write normally for singers. They're songs that nobody would have sung, probably, and they just reflect the feelings of so many people, and all those people identify to the song and make it a hit. Uh, <laughs> In 1992, 
Her career already exploding in French Canada, Celine Dion records the tribute album Dion Chante Plamondon. The singles off the album rocket Celine to stardom in Europe. Nineteen ninety-eight brought the launch of a new musical and a new triumph. With Italian composer Richard Cocciante, Plamondon recreates Victor Hugo's classic tale, Notre Dame de Paris. I thought the subject was quite modern, although the story takes place five hundred years ago at the end of the Middle Ages. It's a story of power, it's a story about racism, about exclusion and uh, it's very similar to the end of the, the second millennium. It's a very modern story, actually. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome...